Polycystic ovary syndrome, also known as PCOS, is a common hormonal disorder that affects women of childbearing age. It's considered a constellation of symptoms rather than a standalone disease. The ovaries which are part of the female reproductive system, contain your lifetime supply of eggs. These eggs are immature and are stored in tiny, fluid-filled structures called follicles. On the other hand, during the follicular phase of a normal menstrual cycle, a part of the brain called the hypothalamus releases a hormone called gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH. This hormone causes the pituitary gland to release another two hormones, follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH, which both travel in the bloodstream to the ovary. After these hormones reach the ovaries, they cause about 6 to 12 follicles to be awake and start to mature. As the eggs mature, the follicles secrete estrogen, the main female sex hormone. The most mature follicle opens and releases its egg in a process called ovulation. And then, the free egg travels through the fallopian tube waiting for fertilization. If the egg is fertilized, the ruptured follicle that the egg came from collapses and forms a new structure called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum in the ovary secretes progesterone, which further prepares the uterine lining for implantation. If fertilization does not occur, the corpus luteum disintegrates, and the levels of estrogen and progesterone drop sharply. This leads to the shedding of the uterine lining, which is the beginning of the next menstrual period. For unknown reason, an abnormal release of GnRH can occur instead of being released in a regular menstrual cycle. This increased pulse frequency leads to an increase in LH over FSH. This lower FSH causes the follicle not maturing enough to become functional and then can't ovulate. Some of the immature follicles do not dissolve and remain as fluid-filled sacs or cysts. This leads to an irregular or absent menstrual periods due to lack of ovulation. That means the ovaries don't consistently release an egg each month. The excessive LH secretion levels stimulates the theca cells of the ovarian follicles to produce higher amounts of male sex hormones, androgens, or testosterone. These hormones are normally present in women in small amounts, but elevated levels can lead to unusual symptoms, like excess facial and body hair, hirsutism, severe acne, and male pattern baldness, or infertility. Insulin secreted from pancreas also plays a vital role in polycystic ovary syndrome. It can affect the theca cells of the ovarian follicles inside the ovary to release more androgen. The high amounts of androgen cause decreased sensitivity to insulin and cause insulin resistance. With insulin resistance, more insulin is released from the pancreas and causes even more androgen secretion. By the time, the abnormal high levels of androgens will prevent further ovulation, which can lead to infertility later on. The name polycystic ovary syndrome is a bit misleading, as it suggests that having cysts on the ovaries is the main problem. While many women with PCOS do have small, fluid-filled sacs on their ovaries. A diagnosis of PCOS doesn't require the presence of these cysts. The condition is more about a set of symptoms related to hormonal dysfunction more than random cysts on the ovary. A diagnosis of polycystic ovary syndrome is typically made when a female has at least two of the following three features. An irregular or absent menstrual periods, this is due to a lack of or irregular ovulation which means the ovaries don't consistently release an egg each month. 
High levels of androgens can lead to infertility which is one of the main signs of polycystic ovary syndrome. An ultrasound may show enlarged ovaries with many small follicles on them. These follicles are immature eggs that have not been released due to the hormonal imbalance. Symptoms of PCOS can vary widely from female to another. These symptoms include Irregular periods, missed periods, very light periods, or periods that are very far apart. Excess hair growth which known as hirsutism on the face, chest, back, or abdomen. Persistent acne, often on the face, chest, or back. Weight gain or difficulty of losing weight, this is a common symptom, and weight gain can often be concentrated around the belly. The exact cause of PCOS is unknown, but it's believed to be a complex of genetic and environmental factors. Several factors are thought to play a role, such as Insulin resistance Genetic factors PCOS often runs in families, suggesting a genetic link. Chronic low-grade inflammation This may also contribute to the production of androgens by the ovaries. If polycystic ovary syndrome left unmanaged, it can increase the risk of developing other health problems, including type 2 diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure and high cholesterol level, sleep apnea, depression and anxiety, endometrial cancer. There is no cure for PCOS, but symptoms can be managed with a combination of lifestyle changes and medical treatments. Treatment plans are personalized for each patient and may include Maintaining a healthy weight Even a modest weight loss of 5% of body weight can significantly improve symptoms. Regular physical activity Exercise can help lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin resistance which in turn prevent infertility from excess androgen secretion. Healthy diet. A balanced diet, possibly with a focus on complex carbohydrates, can help manage blood sugar and insulin levels. Other medications to treat PCOS, such as birth control pills, anti-diabetic drugs like metformin or anti-androgen and fertility medications. Other treatments like cosmetic therapies, for unwanted hair, options like electrolysis or laser hair removal may be considered. In some cases, a minor surgical procedure called laparoscopic ovarian drilling may be an option to improve fertility. A surgeon uses a laser or heat to puncture the small holes in the ovaries which can help reduce androgen levels and restore ovulation. If all the previous treatment options have failed to restore ovulation, the only solution working here is in vitro fertilization, IVF. IVF is a type of assisted reproductive technology used to help individuals who are having difficulty conceiving. The process involves fertilizing an egg with sperm outside of the body, in a laboratory dish, and then transferring the resulting embryo into the woman's uterus. If you like the 3D medical animations, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.